Hello, my name is Edgy Arcaden. Welcome to my Marvel Cinematic Universe review. Um, yeah, this is not counting TV shows or the Raimi or Mark Webb movies. Go watch my Spider-Man movie ranking for those, please and thank you. And if I already reviewed one of these movies in my past videos, I'll just go watch those. I'm not gonna go in depth again. There's no reason to. And I'm also, um, on the bottom movies, I'm not going to go much in depth. I'm just going to say, oh, uh, yeah, this movie was meh, and then move on. So I'm trying to make this video not as long, but um, that'll probably still happen because there's a lot of movies to go on to, and we should probably get started. So let's start with Eternals. Eternals sucked. Moving on. Morbius, it sucked. Moving on. Thor, Love, and Thunder, it was, I was hyped for it, then it failed. Um... Moving on. Venom about the Carnage. I never really enjoyed the first Venom movie, so there you go. Moving on. <laughs> I said we are moving on very quickly from the bottom movies because there's no reason to go in depth. Doctor Doom the Multiverse of Madness. I do want to touch on this movie. They did one very thing very well is the cameos. I did enjoy the cameos, but that's it. <laughs> Sam Raimi also directed this film, and he's one of my favorite film directors of all time, so there you go. Uh, Venom is next. Um, already did a ranking on this one, so go watch my Spider-Man movie ranking, please. I'm begging, I need those views, man. But <laughs> moving on, Captain Marvel is next up. Yeah, I know it's higher than all the movies on the bottom, but me personally, I I hated the film, but um, yeah, but it's better than all the rest of the films on the bottom. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Spider-Man Far From Home. Go watch my Spider-Man movie ranking for my opinion. Doctor Strange. I did not review this movie, so I'll talk about it for a second. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch is the best part. And that's it. Black Widow, I saw in theaters. I was very disappointed. Moving on. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I also saw this in theaters, but I did not... I had high expectations. It didn't fall very much low. I mean, it's already, it's literally on the, near the bottom of my ranking. But yeah, it didn't, it didn't suck. It just, I did not enjoy it. Moving on. M and the Wasp Quantumania. Yes, I know I'm going to get a lot of um, hate on this because I know people love that film. But I did not enjoy it as much as people did. I thought it was just a mindless comedy with King the Conqueror on it. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying that, but I don't care. It's my it's my it's my YouTube channel and I can say whatever the hell I want. <sighs> Moving on. Thor the Dark World is next. Yeah, this movie is not too good. It's underrated, but it's not too good. Next up is its uh its original Thor. This film has a lot going for it. It's just it did not execute well with some of it. Anthony Hopkins was great, obviously. Um, Tom Hellstone was great, obviously. Idris Elba was amazing, obviously. Tom, uh, Chris Hemsworth stole the show in most of his scenes. So, yeah, there you go. Moving on. <laughs> and then the Wasp. And this film's fine. It, it's better than Thor and Thor the Dark World, but it was definitely not, it's not a great film in any sort. It was just a fun popcorn movie that you could turn your brain off and have fun with there you go then next is its original ant-man i enjoy this movie but it cannot be higher than the other films on this list or yeah no there's no way this film was good it was actually great but yeah moving on paul rudd was amazing in both all the Ant-Man movies so there you go <sighs> next up black black panther michael b jordan carried this film on his shoulders R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman, but though, what kind of forever? Moving on. Avengers Age of Ultron. I'm going to get a lot of slack for this, but I honestly did very much enjoy this film. Even though it's directed by one of the worst directors of our generation, I still very much enjoy this film. Thor, like everyone in it, was, did put in their all, and I loved it every minute of it. Even though I wish Black Widow did not have a romance with Hulk during the whole entire film, that made me very mad. But yeah, it's a great film, great acting, great everything. Moving on, Spider Man Homecoming. I'm gonna get a lot of slack for this too, because I'm a I'm a obvious Tom ha Holland hater. Go watch my Spider Man movie ranking for that. But um, yeah, moving on. 
Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I very much enjoy this film, but I just thought it, it'd fall a little bit down because my expectations were not super high, but they were not like, you know, they're not like low. They were like right, right here on expectation. I thought this film was going to be mediocre. It turned out good. There you go. It exceeded my ex expectations, honestly. This movie is underrated, that's for sure. Um, the best part is obviously Chris Pratt, or Garfield, as I should say, because uh, he's he's uh, he's Garfield now for no reason. <laughs> so there you go. Let's move on now. Uh, Deadpool two. Do I need? May I say more? Ryan Reynolds, Josh Brolin. Good job. Good job, good job, Fox, good job. Guardians of the Galaxy is next. I love this film. I thought it was good. Everything about it was great. The emotions, the acting, the the camera work. James Gunn, there you go. That's all I need to say. Next up is Werewolf by Night. I might get a lot of slack for this too. I know it's going to count as a special, but I might as well put it on here. Directed by Michael Giacchino, um, very good directing by him for his first time directing, and I think it's going to be his only time. Very good. I'm a huge horror guy, and this film hit home because, well, you know, like the original werewolf movie is one of the best horror movies of all. No, I'm kidding. It's not one of the best, but it's good. It's very good. It's a classic. I love this. I love the film. I loved it. I honestly did. Except for the post credit scene. It was stupid. The post credit scene was horrible and I did not like it. But other than that, great. Iron Man 2. Oh, goody. I'm going to get like a lot more slack for this than anything else on this list. I love this film to death. It's my childhood. Robert Downey Jr. was great. Um, Don Cheadle was amazing. Pepper Potts in this movie was my favorite like variation of pepper pots out of any movie else but yeah the villain was not too good though the villain was what made the movie um fall for me halfway because of the past well 16 years of me living i have thought about this film a lot and whiplash is always the worst part of it i always am like can you just get off screen already bro just get back to robert downey jr so there you go. If you want to hear me more praise Robert Downey Jr., go watch my Oppenheimer review or my only movie review on this channel. Please, I need the views. <laughs> but moving on. This is actually a shorter review than I thought it would be because my friend's review, I'll link it down below. I already did um, on my um, Fireman movie ranking, but I'll link it again. His video is 50 minutes long, and I'm cutting that length down by a lot. I'm just trying to not take too long. I want to make sure that the video is at least 10 minutes. At least. But um, the last, few, uh, the last like, nine movies will be talked about in depth. So we might have some time. We have a lot. We have a lot to go through. But moving on, I think I was on Wakanda for ever i did not finish my point on iron man 2 iron man 2 was great i loved iron man 2 but moving on now wakanda forever i saw this one theaters with my friend uh he'll probably be in this premiere hello uh but yeah i saw this with a friend and it honestly made the movie experience way better but I, then i saw it a second time and fell asleep until the last action scene <laughs> i'm not kidding I actually did. I went to the theater, bought a ticket, thought I was going to sit through the whole movie. Um, then I fell asleep and I didn't wake up until the last 10 minutes of the film. Yeah. The Michael B. Jordan cameo was cool though. And I honestly loved, he was the best part of the <laughs> first movie. So, I mean, hey, he made a really good cameo. And I thought they paid very good respect to Chadwick Boseman. We'll kind of forever. Moving on. Spider-Man No Way Home, go, go dare, don't you dare. Come back to this video later and watch my Spider-Man movie rankings and get my review on that. Moving on. Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, Thor Ragnarok. 
wow, what a good movie. I mean, Ragnarok and Norse mythology is supposed to be in Norse mythology, but you know what? It's Marvel, so I can't really be judging. This, the film was great. Taco Watiti actually did okay on this film, and I'm shocked to say that. Um, the only part I did not very much enjoy was, well, Loki getting kind of like a redemption arc, because he should say it. He should say it. Say the villain, but... I mean, Chris Hemsworth was great. Tom Ellison was great also. And I'm going to dare say it. Mark Ruffalo was also decent in this film. Whenever he makes an appearance. I'm kidding. Yeah, I don't think he does. But I have not seen the movie in a while. So I got to refresh my memory on that. Moving on. Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. This movie was an MCU gem when the MCU was failing miserably. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good short. It's honestly amazing. You know, Nebula's arc, you know, like everything in this film, like Mantis as well did really, is really good in this film. It sets up Guardians 3 in a way, but they could, they didn't shove in a villain, which I was pumped about. They did not shove in a villain. Happy about that, James Gunn. Good on you, buddy. Let's hope holiday special number two comes out because that will be dope because it's almost Christmas. So uh, here, let, let, me, let me let me pull something out of my uh, first review. Hold on. Yeah, Spider-Man. There you go. Let me, let me set this back up. Jesus. But yeah, it's a gem. It's a it's a great it's a great it's a great special. Next up, <laughs> people are gonna kill me for this. Iron Man three. <laughs> so I love Iron Man three. I think. It's one of the, it's the second best in the trilogy. Um, Iron Man 3 is great. The villain was great. The acting was great also. The suit, the, the Iron Legion, I love that too. Um, Don Cheadle did also really good in this film. But yeah, like a lot of good things about this film that can stay, that stand out to me. I also did get to see this. I didn't get to see in theaters, sadly. I wish. I really do wish I got to see in theaters because that would have probably been life changing. But sadly not. All right, moving on. Deadpool. Yes, I know. Tandy doesn't count as an MCU movie. I'm counting it anyway. Deadpool was great. I loved it. Ryan Reynolds, the villain was fine. I mean, Francis was not the best villain out of every. Sorry for spoilers, by the way, but. Yeah, no, it's, it was great. The acting was great. The The comedy was amazing. Um, all right, let's move into my last nine. I was, now my top 10 has started, so let's move on to these. <sighs> People are going to hate me for some of these takes. But it's my ranking, so yeah, y'all can screw off. All right, The Incredible Hulk goes at number nine. Listen, this film is underrated as... F. Edward Norton. Round of applause for him, dude. He carried this film. And also Hulk is actually Hulk in this film, not Professor Hulk. Marvel, you're hearing me right now? Bring back this Hulk. Bring back the Incredible Hulk. That's all I want. Please, please, make a sequel. Bring back Edward Norton. Bring back everyone. Please? Probably won't happen though because uh, I'm not that famous yet. But moving on. People are gonna hate me for this. The Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I love this film. It was actually, I saw this in theaters and it was a great night. I saw this after a school day, which I mean, hey, I mean, that's always a good thing when you see a movie right after a rough school day. I was not having the greatest day. Then I saw this movie and I had a fantastic day. I honestly very much enjoyed this film. Um, everything about it was awesome. The acting was great. James Gunn, you know, putting together a new Guardians of the Galaxy. Good job. The only thing I did not like about this movie was actually the villain. I thought the villain was very um, underwhelming. And I, I mean, everything else about this film was great. But except for the villain. I also did not like Groot's design. But I might get slack for that. I did not like, like tough group design no not my thing moving on 
Hazelord, I know you're watching this and you probably will hate me for this pick, but Avengers. Avengers is my childhood, but it is still not better than the other movies on this list. I still, honestly, I love it. I thought everything was good about it, even though it was still directed by Joss Whedon. But it was Joss Whedon's best film, by far, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it's a gem. It's a great film. It's what made me fall in love with Avengers, and that's what made me fall in love with the MCU, I'll be honest. I don't rank it higher because of that, because I don't, I'm going off favoritism, not really, I'm not going off favoritism, but I'm going off quality of film. Good quality, good everything, but I just could not place it higher than the next film on here, Civil War. I love, I love this from the death. <laughs> Under Roos, but Iron Man, like Iron Man, Captain America, bashing heads. Hell yeah. <laughs> I will eat that up. Like it's candy. I love the film. I love the plot. I love everything. The length was good too. The Russo brothers. The Russo bro The Russo brothers are our lord and saviors. I'm gonna change our ranking real quick. There we go. But yeah, Russo brothers are our lord and saviors. Um, we'll talk about their movies here in a few minutes. Next up, Captain America: The First Avenger. Yes, I know, this is kind of just going in trilogy, not trilogy order, but it, yeah, no. The Captain America trilogy is like, like here in a row. So, here we go. Captain America the First Avenger. Red Skull was great. Chris Evans was great. Moving, no, I'm kidding. Everything about this movie was great. The plot, the, the story, the camera work, the action, the sim, the choreography for Fighting 2 was great in this film. Even though it was one of the earlier MC movies, still great. I still loved it. I don't remember what the release date was. I should probably research that, but yeah, definitely. It's one of the starters in the MCU and I loved it. I loved, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Me and my friends did an MCU bracket and this won the bracket. So love you, Captain America. First Avenger. Now moving on. Captain America and the Winter Soldier. What else can I say? Masterpiece. 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 That's literally all it is. It's a masterpiece. It's the action is great. Natasha Rovanov. Scarlett Johansson. Like what? She fits the tone of this movie so well, which I was shocked about. She did not fit that tone that well in her own movie, which is just really depressing. But yeah, everything about this movie is great. Bucky Barnes, you know, like everything, 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 everything. The Spy Espinage, I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to try to make this review 20 minutes or ranking 20 minutes. So we're at 18 minutes and 10 seconds. So top three. These movies I really want to go in depth on, but if I want to make this for 20 minutes, it might be hard to do that. <laughs> So let's just, you know what, let's, let's do this. Iron Man at my number three. Don't, don't, don't you please, please don't shoot me. I know <laughs> this film is just a childhood memory of mine. And I love it to death. Oh, but I Stain is one of the, one of the most underrated villains of ever. If he's an underrated. I loved him. Robert Downey Jr. Classic performance. I loved it. This is what started the MCU permanently. And this is what, you know, this was an expectation for the MCU. Being as good as this. John Favreau, good job, buddy. You've not done that well. You live action remake and crazy guy. And Star Wars. He did, he did well in Star Wars. But, yeah, not, not. Masterpiece. Just masterpiece. That's it. That's all I gotta say. All right, now you guys know what the last two are. Um, but I'm gonna get a lot of slack for this. And, one of the posters are right there, and one of the posters are right here. Um, there you go. There's a little cameo from that. But, we now, Avengers Infinity War is next. <laughs> I know I'm going to get a lot of slack for that. Loki dies and everything. Like, Loki's death in this movie was perfect. I honestly didn't enjoy his ending, even though I wish he came back. 
for one more movie because the show's not too good. If I was to count shows right now, I think the Loki show would have been like 20 minutes ago. But, um, yeah, really good film. Um, the directing, the score, the every, everything was perfect. I honestly, in the Russo Brothers again, Lord and Saviors, Lord and Saviors. And actually Hulk is in this for 10 minutes. Why? <laughs> he got his um, butt whooped by Thanos. But spoilers, sorry. I'm not that a spoiler running on this video. I already have to make an intro for this. Calm. <laughs> Calm. But yeah. Masterpiece. Moving on. Avengers Endgame. You all knew this was coming. Now let me get really in depth. Three hour movie. Three hour MCU movie. Perfect. Love the, I love the pacing. I love everything about it. Robert Downey Jr. Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Everyone. Except for Captain Marvel. Why did you make a cameo in this? Why did you make a cameo? Why? Sorry, I'm gonna get a little bit, I'm getting a little bit heated, but. Everyone in this film was great. The sacrifices were great. Everything. This was an Iron Man film, kind of, because it showed, <laughs> he sacrificed himself. Like, bro, bro, I cried. Well, I was this close to crying, but I did not end up dropping a tear, which was a shock to me, because I love Iron Man. His trilogy is my favorite trilogy. I know Captain America's cutting you very close. But, yeah. There is my Marvel Cinematic Universe ranking. Um, just one more thing. Um, after this video is out, I will probably not be uploading until the Wednesday. Until this Wednesday, so stay tuned because I'm thinking of doing the Dracula ranking. Probably gonna film that either the day this releases, which is gonna be Saturday. So hello, people who are watching this. Um, but yeah, this this is this was being filmed. It is uh, Wednesday the 15th at 8.58 p.m. I just finished filming it, so you guys can kind of take a wild guess on when I started and when I finished. This will be uploaded Saturday the 18th at 12, 12, like, afternoon time. So, yeah, this is my longest ranking yet, and it'll probably stay my longest ranking for a little bit until I do something way bigger. Thinking kind of doing Disney animated movies, but I still have a lot of movies to see, and I probably watch them but um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this uh yeah have a nice day see ya